Yes, people, finally, and Leeds United are back. Um, international break is done. Finally, it's been absolutely dreadful. And thank you, everyone, for the crazy support over it. Genuinely, you're all absolute legends. But now we can actually talk about the game that's coming this week. Um, in fairness, I enjoyed watching England. It was a different style. I enjoyed it, but it's not better than Leeds, is it? Got all these new toys you want to see. But anyway, those new toys, let's talk about them. Should any of them start and will they start? I think around that we know the rest of the lineup will be quite solid in who else will, will come in there. But based on certain aspects that I've seen that I want to talk about with you lot, will they start? So this is this is the lineup I've gone with straight away. I know look, this is five players. What I'm saying is I think the position for the, for the rest is in contention. And I'll tell you why. So Joe Rodon, Rocco Strauk, no new signings there. They're going to stay. They're in the squad. Meslier is obviously in the squad. Ampadu will be in the squad. Mateo Joseph will be up top. We'll start at the back. And the reason I didn't, again, put Bogle and Firpo in is because Schmidt has been at the training ground for two weeks now. He's really developed. You know, and that's that's great for him. That's what he needed to have when everyone's on international duty with Purple playing 180 minutes, travelling a lot, having played every minute of the season so far. Is it too much? I'm going to say no. I think he'll play. Um, I do think he'll play. He's done it before. Um, but there is always that injury. You want to keep him on the right, on the straight path, right? You want to keep him on that side of it. And it is a worry, that fitness side of it. Um, I don't think Schmidt will start left back. I also don't think he'll start right back. Jaden Bogle has been training as well. There's probably some good stuff there. And like I say, if, well, if they have been training for the last few days, potentially, Schmidt would probably be doing most of the exercises from that left position, given Burper wasn't there. But given in he's okay and there's no knocks or anything, I'm assuming Furper will play, but... He is one that when we do start playing midweek, that we have to be really careful with, especially the next two international breaks coming up in the next few months. I think for this one, even though Schmidt will have been at the ground training hard out of that side, with the manager, I still think Firpo gets the nod. Now midfield, and this is probably one of the most contentious. Does Grove play? Does Tanaka come in? Now, what hasn't helped Tanaka in this case for me is the fact, again, he's been on international duty. He's not played much. He's played a little bit. He's played enough to keep ticking along, keep him fit, to keep him sharp as well. But not to fatigue him, because I believe Gruev, I believe, played both games full. Um, and I think the ideal profile for an eight in this system is obviously Tanaka the attributes he brings but with him not been there does that mean the manager still is going to go with Gruev and the fact that let's be honest Gruev has been playing really well and I keep mentioning this he's not he's not an eight in this role that we need but I think what he does is very well and what he's, he's doing the best he can as a player he's excelling in what he is good at to help the team um, and he's looked good there let me know what you guys think in the comments as well. Tell me, do you think Schmidt, Tanaka, any of the new guys come in? I'm, not, I'm going to say no again. I do think, especially Burnley, you know, you're playing a top side. I think just throwing Tanaka in right now, a team like that is probably a bit too soon, a bit too risky. Without that kind of you know, two weeks in the, in the tank behind him, over Gruev, which Tanaka will not have had, being an international duty. Back, we'll still need to see him longer in training to get a full idea of him. So, I do think it will be Gruev starting and deserves the so because he's been really good. And I have to keep saying that for as much as I absolutely love Tanaka as a football player, I think he's unbelievable. Um, I want him for a year to two now. I still respect and like what Gruev does, and I think he deserves to keep that spot for this time. Number three, I know I've not put Nanto in. Now, the only reason I didn't put Nanto in, just to clarify, is because I don't know which position he'll play. That's the, that's the argument. I know a player, obviously. I don't know what position. I don't think it's nailed on. 
the text is to the front. I really do want to do this. I really want to put Solomon in. But we know he's recorded injuries. Played a lot of football for Israel this week. Played a lot of football for us just before he went. Kind of played three games in kind of 10, 11 days. That's a lot. Of and that'll be four in two weeks. For someone with that injury record, do you guys genuinely think Fark chooses him? Maybe you get 60 minutes. It's tough for me. Really tough for me, this one. Please let me know what you guys think, because this one is genuinely really hard. Because when you look at it this way, there's so many differences you could make. Ramazani, a player who uh, has been at training now for, for an extra week, he's got that fitness. He's, maybe he's proven himself to Ben Fark. Maybe we'll give him that chance. Maybe on the left or on the right. Maybe on the left, and then Solomon can get that break. Because he's played a lot of football people for someone that is very injury prone. That's my worry. Could is genuinely an air that you, situation where you could see Ramazani play. Remember, he's been at training this week. He's not been in national duty. He's fully sharp and ready now. No risk of injury there. But not you guys think about that one. Before I decide that, I think it's fair to say Nonto's playing, but where? And that depends on three things. Solomon, how much they want to play him. It's four games in two weeks too much. Is Ramazani ready? Uh, Aronson's been on himself to do it. What's his fitness? Where does he fit in this? What I'm going to do, I'm going to do this. Nonto has been away of international duty with, with Italy. I believe he played on the left and centrally. Aronson's been away for the US. But I'm going to stick to what Daniel Farker did, I think. I think it might be the same. I know I've done this entire thing and, and everything's the same, but I don't know. I don't know this. I think there's definitely a world where, and I'm assuming, by the way, that James is still injured. I don't know. I believe he's not. I, I believe he's still injured, right? For another week. So James won't feature. Or could you see this? And the only reason you might see that purely based on the fact that Aronson, again, has been away of internationals. And maybe Ramazani, Sean, because Aronson can play on the left side, of course he can, but not predominantly on the right. So Nonto can kind of play either. It's flexibility, but there isn't flexibility of Aronson. He can play on the left or centrally, not really on the right. Ramazani, left or right. Solomon, predominantly right, predominantly left. So you could see this. A lot of good options here and a lot of thinking to do about this. But I'm going to think about it and this is going to be my final one next. So I thought about it, people and I have gone with the same. Now, here's my reasoning why. Continuity. Um, I think Farkle wants to stick with the same side, especially against this Burnley side where, let's be honest, we've had 11 internationals away this this window. There's not a lot of time to create new ideas, to try new positions out, to try new new kind of connections between players. This is not had long. We'll have some analysis sessions. That's probably about it. Maybe one or two training sessions. So I believe that continuity side of it, for the sim just simplifying the situation, we'll go with the same lineup last. That's what I think, just based on that. I've gone with Solomon on the left. I'm really worried about that just because of the amount of minutes he's played. Aronson down the middle and Nonso on the right. But what we did see a lot and which was key about these three, the interchangeable where Nonto will come centrally. Aronson can push out on those sides. Solomon can go real wide like this. And then, of course, we saw Bogle come up and kind of create a five across the middle. We saw that a lot and Firpo kind of came in these areas as well. And then you've got these guys covering if they have to, whatever. Yeah, but I think we'll see that. I think that will be the side. Um, yeah, what do you guys think? Look, I'd love to see Ramazani start. Again, Nonto centrally, but Nonto will play anywhere. And he will drift. He won't have a fixed position. His role will change. His role will allow him to have freedom. We saw it in the last two games. We'll see it again against Burnley. 
we can't change too much against Burnley because we've not had time in training to work on things to change. That's my thought process. And it put my mind in the mind of a manager. That is the thought process. Don't overcomplicate it against a good side that have only had four internationals away. We've had 12. Can't overcomplicate it because they'll be ready for us. We have to be on it communication wise. I think it'll be the same. Don't be surprised if you see Ivan Aronson or a Solomon dropped and a Ramazani come in, either on the left or on the right with Nonto in the middle, whatever. I think just because of who we're playing, the little time they've had to work on certain things, I call one continuity. I think that's sensible and I think that makes sense. I just hope he's all right. I'm really worried. I don't know why. But yeah, let me know what you guys think. Um, tough one for me. Tough one. Real tough one. I'll see you guys in a bit. Thank you for the support. You're all absolute legends, genuinely. Thank you so much. Uh, see you guys in a bit. Bye-bye.